December, I had a heart block. I, I came to know that there is a valve, defective valve, and it has to be replaced. My son is working in Dubai. He is working for a health insurance company. So through him only we came to know about this hospital, Maitra Hospital, and then uh, we came here. My father has been diagnosed with uh, severe aortic stenosis in December 2019. So he was undergoing a difficult condition and situation where we all are panicked and uh, his uh, situation required an immediate treatment. Being his son and also I am a doctor uh, as per profession, so I was uh, going through all the opportunities at the same time, I heard about Mitra Hospital and the treatment is available and then I thought like, okay, I'll take him there to do the surgery. We were very impressed with the service and uh, the dedication with the team of the doctors involving Dr. Ali Faisal, Dr. Ashish Kumar, Dr. Jayesh Baskaran and his team. This gentleman, Mr. Said Hamid, actually was referred to us from Sri Lanka. He was having recurrent loss of consciousness and he was 75, almost 76 years old. And he was told to have three vessel coronary artery disease and severe blockage of the aortic valve, which he called as aortic stenosis. And uh, as you know, uh, there are two options to treat this condition. One is surgical, that is a combination of aortic valve replacement plus what we call as cabbage or coronary artery bypass graft surgery or maybe an angioplasty. So they had preferred to go for a non-surgical th therapy that is the recent therapy for aortic wall disease known as TAVR or TAVI which is transcatheter aortic wall replacement plus to avoid a surgery they also opted to go for a angioplasty. So with that uh, idea they came to Maitra and then when we assessed him, we found that this gentleman did not need a coronary angioplasty because we did an FFR, what is called as a fractional flow reserve. So this study will decide whether the patient has to definitely go for an angioplasty or can be managed medically for the blockages. And it was found that the FFR value did not warrant an angioplasty. Hence, we decided that the patient should go for a TAVI or a transcatheter aortic valve replacement, which is one of the recent therapy which has come for aortic valve diseases. The TAVA procedure for Mr. Syed Hamid is being done under conscious sedation. The valve is taken from a small puncture in the groin. We are inflating a balloon across the narrowed or what we call a stenotic valve. The artificial valve mounted on a balloon is being taken being positioned across the native valve and checking the position and soon you can see that the valve is getting deployed there by a simple inflation of the balloon. This is a valve deployed and this is how the valve looks like, well positioned and it starts working immediately after deployment. The team could finish the procedure in one hour at the end of which the patient was transferred to the intensive care unit, fully awake with no complications.